carnivore diet update. Well, dramatic weight loss. Here we go. Okay guys, here's the update on the carnivore diet and how it's going. All right, uh, so the first big news is that I'm still on the diet, but I've had to modify it a little bit. Now, as far as I know, I am the only one that's tried to do this that doesn't have a gallbladder. Uh, and what that does is that actually limits the amount of uh, bile that my liver can store and use for processing of fats. Um, and when I was eating for uh, many days there, I was eating just the carnivore diet. I started to feel very, very greasy and a little bit unnice in that area where I had the operation. Um, and even my pancreas was bothering me a little bit. So the modification is this. This is what I'm doing. Now, I'm not saying anything about other people eating carnivore diet. I'm trying to give you my results and what's going on with me. So um, I am now currently eating this porridge in the morning, one bowl, and then for the rest of the day, I switch to carnivore and very, very low sugar, try to stay away from all starches. So basically meats, um, I may have a pickle, uh, and that's what I do. And that is working really, really well for me. You're going to see the results here. Uh, now, some other things that I've noticed. So, some other results. Uh, I find that I am getting to be stronger. And I do lift weights, uh, and I was kind of having a plateau situation. Uh, I'm lifting about uh, 25 kilos per arm at this point, and I was not really getting any stronger, which means I couldn't do any more reps or that kind of thing. But since I've been eating this carnivore diet and sticking around eating the steaks and stuff, I do notice that I do, I am getting stronger, which is good. And I can see even in my body that I'm, I'm definitely improving, which is good. Um, so, what I'd like to say, is it hard? I just had somebody ask me, is it hard to do the carnivore diet? Uh, what I'm doing is, I, of course, I'm eating starch in the morning, the porridge. Uh, I, that, I'm doing that to clean out uh, the grease from my system. Uh, and it seems to be working very well. And then after that, I switch to very, very low carb, um, try to stay away from all sugars uh, and stay away from any carbs, really, any breads or anything else like that, and, um, and eat meat. Now, I was just asked, somebody just asked me this, how is it to, when do you have cravings? Is it hard to stay on it? And I just gave them the advice because uh, it's a woman and a man, and the man is having a hard time in the evening. No, it's not hard to stay on it when you eat a beautiful steak. If you eat a beautiful steak, you actually want that steak. And I've found that you should go ahead and eat as much as you want. Not, not overeat, but if you're hungry, eat it. You know, which do you want more? Do you want uh, cookies, ice cream, cake? Or would you rather have a nice piece of steak? And that's the thing. That's the trade-off. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm finding. Uh, am get, I am getting stronger. I do feel pretty good, and I am losing weight, as you can see from the image that's coming up now. So here we are with the bill. Uh, this is what it's costing me to do this. You can see where I'm buying. These are the two steaks, actually two packages of steaks, but the trick is, to be honest with you, there are two steaks in each package and you know maybe I won't even eat a whole steak in one day or I could depending uh, of course you know the trick to this thing is that you're not spending money on other things much so you're not buying cookies you're not buying cakes that's the trick that's what makes it work so you're really not spending that much more um, let's see so that's what I wanted to say. Uh, I think this diet is really working, and you can see how it's uh, doing. You don't have the cravings if you eat the meat. 
You don't have the cravings if you eat the meat. So this is the weight when I started. And I was like a plump cat. Now, I weighed myself in the middle of the day because I didn't take the picture in the morning. But in the morning when I weighed myself, it was 121.6. You're supposed to weigh yourself in the morning. And it's been that way for a couple days now, 121 something. Doing real good. Feel good. Thanks for coming along. Subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking. Have a real good day, guys.